I, I just want to say I'm really sorry for the echo in this episode. I didn't fix my microphone until after the episode finished. I didn't know that this uh, headset was just going to double the audio for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, I fixed it now. And it, the next episode will be a lot better. Um, yeah, I just didn't want to re-record the entire hour that I had just filmed. So it's, it's bearable. It's just a little echoey. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to the game called Love is Strange. It's like this visual novel that um, some fans made up for the game Life is Strange. And basically, you play as Max, and you can romance either Chloe, Rachel, Kate, or Victoria. And I will be doing all of them, but obviously we're starting with Chloe. <laughs> so, I know this game is kind of old, but uh, I can play it without a controller because my wrist. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's a it's a reading game, so I'm gonna have to voice all of the characters. <laughs> so let's just get into it. Do you want to play the tutorial? No, I've watched this game twice. <laughs> that was a loud alarm in my ears. So that's the thing about this game, they have random sound effects, and they come at the weirdest times, so... <laughs> anyway. Ugh. Insert groan here. Uh, let's hit snooze. <laughs> I slam my hand down on the phone. It shuts up, thankfully. I stretch out in bed, trying to make the most of how warm and comfortable I feel before I have to get up. Birds. <laughs> Okay. Even from beneath the covers, I can hear the chirps of the birds outside and the low murmur of voices in the hallway. And of course, someone's playing music. The people I share a dormitory with are the worse than roosters. Heavy bass vibrates through the paper-thin walls, and even clamping my pillow over my head doesn't do much to muffle the sound. I guess I better get out. And so, I love the art style of this game. The art in this game is so beautiful. The character designs in this game are so beautiful, and the story is very, very well written. You can definitely tell the game devs have put a lot of thought into this, and it's just a really fun game experience, and I'm really happy to be playing it. Also, if you want to find out where to get this, you can search Love is Strange Game on Google, and it's free to play, so if you're interested, go play it because you don't have to pay for it, you just need um, an unzipper file on your computer. So make sure you have one of those, which you can also get for free. <laughs> uh, by the way, not sponsored. I just love it. <laughs> okay. I stretch out, yawning, as I make my way to the window to feel the sunlight on my skin. Lisa seems to be enjoying it too. Oh yay, the plant is alive! <laughs> She's grown like crazy over the past year. My mom would be so proud. So this game is like an AU type thing one year after the whole event of um, the real game. So everyone is alive. Rachel is also alive <laughs> and dateable. So yeah. Wow. A whole year already. It's hard to believe I've been at Blackwell for that long. I'm so glad that I came back to Arcadia Bay, and not just for Blackwell Academy, although I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. it wasn't a huge part. I liked Seattle, but it never really felt like home. Arcadia Bay is the place I grew up in, the place where I made all of my best memories and had so many adventures, each one as different as in every new day. Pirates and superheroes, this was the best place to grow up. Well, I'm biased, but I really do feel that way. I don't want to sell Seattle short, of course. I lived there for five long years. I really do miss my friends there and my parents. I was so glad to see them this summer. But I know that coming back here was the right choice for me. I'm technically an adult now. Girl, you've been an adult for like a whole year because the whole game started when you were 18. So you're like 19 now? <laughs> anyway. Which is something that I'm still getting used to. I definitely still feel like a kid in a lot of ways. I'm lucky to have my parents' support and my scholarship, which I've somehow managed to keep into my second year. Go Max! <laughs> and I can't forget one of the most 
most important parts. Blackwell's brought me back to Chloe Price, my best friend. It took a little while, but we picked up right where we left off. Actually, we did even better because we didn't exactly part under the best circumstances. Yeah, so if you haven't seen the actual game, maybe go watch that first. I have a playthrough of it on, on my channel in live stream form. <laughs> But the greatest thing about Chloe is that she's brutally honest with her feelings. Those first few weeks were seriously awkward, but we got through it. I'm determined to be there for her now, even if I couldn't before. Luckily, someone was there for Chloe while I was gone. Rachel Amber. She's totally gorgeous, and she's a really great person too. She's almost too perfect. <laughs> but she's one of those girls that it's just impossible to hate even though Victoria Chase seems to have found a way. At first, I thought that Rachel and Chloe were total opposites, but they're really more like wolves of the same pack. Let's just say that knowing the both of them is like being accessory to every incident of dubiously criminal mischief in the Bay. <laughs> but even if I didn't have Chloe and Rachel, I've got other friends here too. Dana, Stella, Alyssa, actually, I can count almost everyone on my floor as a friend. Eva Brooke, who is, um, abrasive. It took some getting used to, but it's just her way of being friendly. Pretty impressive for a shy geek like me, am I right? <laughs> Take Kate Marsh, for example. She's one of the very first people who befriended me at Blackwell. Kate is probably the most kind-hearted person I've ever met, and she's an incredibly talented, talented artist. She's one of the only students at Blackwell that unabashedly wears her heart, or I guess her religion, religion, on her sleeve. I know that she gets flack about it sometimes, but I think it's really cool that she works so hard to create a comfortable environment for other religions, or religious and for abstinent students, even though I'm not in her Bible study group or anything. I get along with almost everybody, except for my neighbor across the hall. <laughs> Victoria? Victoria Chase is the head of the Vortex Club, with all that reputation that goes with it. Even after a year, I'm not entirely sure what the Vortex Club even does, aside from underage drinking. I've heard that being in it is good for your resume, but I've never seen them doing anything to actually improve or benefit the school outside of partying. Oh well, it's not really my place to judge, even though Victoria herself does a lot of judging. You've been judging this whole time, Max. <laughs> so maybe now is not the time to be saying it's not your place to judge. <laughs> Hasn't she heard the old adage about not saying anything at all if you've got nothing nice to say? It's hard not to uh, wither under that ice queen stare of hers, or to feel totally lame in the presence of her $6,000 camera. Oh my god, $6,000 camera. <laughs> I'd like one of those. <laughs> she has a great eye though, I'll give her that. I can't spend all morning daydreaming by the window though. I've got to get dressed. I don't want to miss my first class. Especially since Mixed Dog told us last week that they had a surprise coming up on Monday. I wonder what that will be. Yeah, uh, Mixed Dog is the teacher in this. It's not Jefferson. <laughs> Although he looks like Jefferson <laughs> a lot. <laughs> anyway, and uh, Mixed Dog goes by they them pronouns, so. They're one of the best teachers I've ever had. They're always supportive of my work and always smiling. I knew Blackwell Academy took on the best of the best, but I had to experience it to believe it. Mixed Dog is so freaking cool. I'd bury her, <laughs> better hurry up and get going. Then maybe I can find some time to stop tripping over my words. <laughs> then maybe I can find some time to hang out with my friends before class starts. I have a feeling that Chloe and Rachel are already are going to laugh at my generic brand t-shirt and jeans like they always do. But I've come to terms with my style. I'm wearing a generic t-shirt <laughs> and pajama pants. <laughs> Uh, I put on a little tiny bit of cosplay, but it's kind of hard getting dressed in the morning with a splint, so <laughs> yeah, I just kept my pajama pants on. <laughs> I should make sure I have everything I need before I head out. Uh, let's put on the bracelets first. Chloe gave me one of her punky spiked bracelets a few months ago. I'm clumsy, so I thought I'd instantly take my eye out by wearing it. 
I also had that thought when I started wearing them. <laughs> but it turns out the secret to thrashing is that the studs are actually pretty dull. Also true. I managed to lose one somehow, though. I don't know. I guess I really am for ready for the match right now, Shaka Bra. Oh god, Max. <laughs> Max, you, you will never be ready for the mosh pit. <laughs> the bracelet that I slide on next is all woven rainbow threads. Rachel gave it to me, and it was I was pretty surprised when she did. Rachel's got like a zillion friends. Maybe she makes them for everybody. Put it on the bag. I can't wait to make that. I'm gonna be making her bag instead of having just a random one soon. I can't forget my bag, and I don't want to forget my camera, either. I'm glad it's managed to survive this long. It's really old, and not in a cute faux vintage way, it's legit ancient. <laughs> but that's what I wanted, a total timelessness to my photos. Yeah, but your photos on your wall look so much better than the ones that I take with my vintage camera. Because vintage cameras have like this weird film when they like print out the pictures. Anyway. As I slide my camera into my bag, I look at the little dough pen that Kate gave me a few days ago. It's a warm bronze color. She said that she found it in a bookshop in Portland and she thought that I would like it. I do, but I'm just flattered that she thinks of me at all. So basically, all of your perspective like, romance options have given you something except Victoria. Because it's Victoria. <laughs> Check my phone. I can't leave my room a quick scan at my feed, the modern equivalent of reading the morning newspaper. That's a millennial condition, I suppose, blah blah blah. Of course, Victoria's already posted her morning mirror selfie, liked by 28 people, posted 5 minutes ago. But she does look really nice in that cashmere sweater. I'd hit like to, but I know that she's not interested in my approval. She might never wear that sweater again if I did. <laughs> Nerd cooties. <laughs> I'm kidding, I think. I need to stop sinking to her level and being all judgy. I think I've got everything, but I have a feeling I'm forgetting something. Oh, my journal. I can't leave without it. I take it just about everywhere. Now, they do actually keep in with the normal games style, and they do write journal entries. Uh, I might go through it at, like, the end of the game, just to see, like, at the end of each, like dating option and kind of thing just to see what's in there but I'm not gonna go through and read it all because someone did look through it and there's like 30 40 pages to it so it's gonna take forever when I already know one playthrough for one romance option takes about three hours so we're definitely not doing it in one episode <laughs> so if you're interested go buy the game and read the journal I guess it's a little old-fashioned of me, and I know that just getting a vlog would be more secure, but I'm used to writing it in it every single day. There we go. All set. <laughs> no boys on the sign. <laughs> As I head out into the hallway, I finally spot the source of the music. It's all coming from Dana's room. The door's wide open, like it usually is. This is definitely way too much space for a Monday morning. I cross the hall, shaking my head. I knock on Kate's door, but there's no response. Maybe she's already headed to class. I'm a little sad I missed out on her usual morning violin playing. Not that I would have heard much of it over Dan's music. What was that sound effect? I guess it was a spray can. It doesn't surprise me that I smell weed and hear the sound of a spray can drifting from the bathroom. Rachel and Chloe up to no good again. But I guess that's the company I keep. Victoria's usually got her door open or music playing, like Dana, but it's quiet this morning. I guess she went to class early, too. I've never seen her show up late to anything. Oh, the places you'll go, Max. Where to now? Let's go to the bathroom. That's loud. <laughs> when I reach the bathroom, I find Chloe smoking in the corner, slouching there with a joint pinched between her fingers. Rachel's busy adding graffiti to the opposite wall. <laughs> Let's talk to Chloe. Look at the game character design. Ah, Max's design is the cutest. I 
might just be biased because I love Max, but <laughs> just mm, Max is such a cutie. Having fun, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe's is really good too, but mm, Max is Max is the cutest one. <laughs> I just love Max. Chloe grins at me, giving me her usual up to no good look. Yep, I'm totally getting lit over here. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, oh god. <laughs> I groan and Chloe just bursts out laughing amid a cloud of sharp smoke. You're terrible, you know that? <laughs> and you love it. But what's up? I'm pretty sure you didn't come over here for a hit. <laughs> I lean against the wall next to Chloe, nudging her with my elbow. I'm not a fan of how weed smells, but I've gotten used to it being around her, being around it by now. It seems to chill Chloe out, and I'm all for anything that keeps her happy. <laughs> that one's my favorite! That one's my favorite! That's my favorite Max pose in this entire game. It's so cute! And you see the little bit of belly pe peeking out from her shirt, and... <laughs> I'm just so gay! <laughs> anyway... <laughs> just... Let's not click on Max. Like, my mouse was on her, and I thought it would be weird to be like... Repeatedly clicking on her. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to see what my best, my best friend's up to early this morning. And to ask what you think makes Doc's surprises today. I can't figure out what it could be. Chloe shrugs, taking another drag. When she breathes out, the smoke twists and turns in the air before dissipating under the fluorescent light. It makes me want to take a picture. <laughs> Chloe laughs. I know that look. You want to take a photo, huh, hipster? Five years apart or not, Chloe still knows me well. She proves it all the time. I take a thousand photos of Chloe and never get tired of her face. Gay much? <laughs> Gay much? <laughs> Isn't that obvious? Chloe smirks back at me and bumps the toe of her boot into my sneaker before sucking back on the joint again and exhaling through her nose. Save your photos for dog's class, Max. As for whatever the surprise is, I don't know. I'm just glad we made it into the same class this semester. Just like when we were in elementary school, huh? <laughs> I grin. Chloe may look all punk rock on the outside now, but I know on the inside she's still the girl I used to watch anime and play pirates with. <laughs> My crazy, rebellious, amazing friend. She didn't have the blue hair when we were little, but she always had a wild heart. Yeah, she did. <laughs> I'm glad we're together, too. Chloe smiles at me. Anyway, I want to be good and buzz by the time class starts, so I need to finish this thing. Catch you later, Super Max. See you soon, Chloe. And now we get to talk to Rachel. Rachel's is so cute, too. Her little game line. All of them are cute, even Victoria's, and I hate Victoria. <laughs> so I will I still be playing Victoria's route because her route is super cute. Oh my god. Hey Rachel. Rachel looks up at me and smiles. It's warm, uh, but as usual, it's a little intimidating. There's something about Rachel that makes me feel kind of shy. She can be hard to read. Mm, look at Rachel, she's such a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, how's it hanging, Max? I could ask you the same thing. Rachel looks back at the wall, smirking, as she gives another shake of her spray can. I look at it, too. The paint is bright gold, dripping down the wall from a tangle of letters. I can't quite tell what it says. I'm leaving my mark on this school. <laughs> Which is totally against the rules. Since when have the rules I've ever applied to me? <laughs> She laughs at her own joke, which makes me twitch into a smile, too, before I have to tilt my head away from the fumes, eyes watering. <laughs> Are you heading to class soon? Uh, yeah, but let me guess, you're wondering what dog's gonna surprise us with today. That's another thing about Rachel. She's always on the ball, and knows what's going on with everyone and everything. I think she might be on mission. Yeah. Rachel laughs, twirling her paint can in her hand. How do, you, how do you twirl a whole spray can in your hand? It's, they're really big. <laughs> Her fingers are nimble and light against its smooth surface. That could also be taken as gay. <laughs> uh, also, this game probably isn't for kids. 
Uh, or maybe I'm just dirty minded. <laughs> I bet you it's another photo contest. I'm sure you'll win it, Max. She and Chloe have been so supportive of me. Their praise can be a little overwhelming sometimes, but I know they really mean it. Chloe, I get, but Rachel, we're not that close. So it means a lot when she's so encouraging. Anyway, I, even if I don't entirely get what's in it for her. Ah, uh, that whole sentence was messed up. <laughs> Rachel is kind of a mystery to me. One that I have yet to figure out, even a year in. I wonder if Chloe's got the puzzle solved. I've always been too shy to ask how much about their friendship, but I <laughs> but they're thick as thieves. Thanks, Rachel. I hope so. I'm trying to read slow so I don't trip over so many words, but eh, it's a donut anyway. Don't worry about it, Max. Anyway, I want to finish this up if that's cool with you. I'll see you in class. Rachel gives a little toss of her hair before focusing back on the wall. Um, let's go to the courtyard to see if we can meet up with either Kate or Victoria. See them. I think it's Victoria that we see. I'm not sure. Oh no, we see Kate too, I guess. I head outside the dorms and I see Kate sitting on a bench outside the front lawn, sketchbook in hand. Up ahead, I see Victoria focused on the bulletin board. Uh, I guess I do have time to chat. Kate! Hey, Kate! Kate looks up from her sketchbook and gives a warm smile. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Max. It's good to see you. I'm happy to see her, too. Come to think of it, Kate's been a little hard to get a hold of lately. She's been a lot quieter than usual. She's not the loudest person to begin with, but maybe she has something on her mind. Whatever it is, it doesn't stop her from greeting me as warmly as ever. That's Kate Marsh for you. I missed your violin playing this morning. Not that I would have heard much of it over Dana's music. I sit down next to Kate on the bench to see that she's sketching a few cartoon characters gathered around the fountain. Kate notices me looking and smiles softly, pencil tapping idly against the paper. I thought I'd try to get some drawing in before class starts, but... When I'm feeling inspired, I always want to sketch right away so I don't forget the images in my head. I'm the same way, Kate. If I can't sketch it right then, I forget it. And like, writing out video ideas, if I don't write it down, it's, it's gone. <laughs> like, later in the day. <laughs> I look more closely at the page. Kate's drawings are always cute and lively. She'd make an awesome character designer, or storyboarder, or an illustrator for children's books. Any one of those would suit her. I know what you mean. I'll drop everything if I'm doing if the time is right for a photo. Can't believe you can do this kind of stuff with just colored pencils. It's so cute. Thanks, Max. I've always loved your photos, too. Kate's compliments always warm my heart. The best part is that I know what, that she means it. She's so sincere and positive. Speaking of photos, what do you think Mix Dogs is going to surprise us with today? Kate's expression turns thoughtful. She clasps her hands on top of her sketchbook. I'm not sure. They seemed really excited about it when I was helping them catalog our photography textbooks on Friday. I'd forgotten that Kate is Mixed Dog's assistant. Did they mention anything about the surprise, other than being excited? Kate laughs and shrugs, but she seems to glow. The cross hanging from her neck catches the sunlight and flashes bright and golden. You're always so curious about the world, Max. A lot of people would just say I'm nosy. <laughs> At least she knows it. <laughs> going through her stuff. <laughs> like in, in the game, just going through, poking through everyone's personal belongings the entire time. Kate gives a little huff and continues drawing in her sketchbook, her pencil delicately tracing curves and lines. I think you've just got a knack for adventure. Like Gloria here. She's an amateur detective. Kate points to one of the characters in her drawings, a small figure peering into the fountain with huge inquisitive eyes. A little cattail pokes out from under the character's long coat. Oh, that's cute! <laughs> Thanks, Kate. I'm glad you believe in me. I should be going, though. Kate nods. I wouldn't want you to mix... Mm, miss Nick's dog's surprise. I'll catch up soon. See you, Max. 
Victoria looks so focused on the message board, she's got her arms crossed like she's annoyed by what she's reading, but I'm not sure what it is she's looking at. I scan my eyes over the board. There are flyers for club meetings, another plea about the cat picks tablet, <laughs> some stuff about global warming. What else did they have on that tablet? <laughs> the average Blackwell, Marky. I don't usually go out of my way to walk up and talk to Victoria, but she might be the only other person who takes photography class as seriously as I do. It might be good to scope out what she thinks about today's surprise. Hey, Victoria. Victoria turns around for a split second. I see surprise in her face before it's replaced with a stern look. What do you want, Max? Her tone isn't totally hostile today. I guess that's something, at least. Just wanted to say good morning, if that's okay. Victoria snorts and rolls her eyes. I wouldn't call it a good morning as long as you are around. <laughs> Wait, seriously? I throw my hands up in defense, giving a huff of exasperation. I can't catch a break with Victoria, can I? I can't catch a break with reading, can I? Wow, nice burn. Let me go to the nurse to see if I can get myself an ice pack. Victoria crosses her arms with an impatient sigh and then gestures with her fingers. Really, what do you want? I glance back to the bulletin board and see a small flyer in the corner. It's an advertisement for a photography expo exhibition in Portland. I think I found what Victoria was looking at. Just wondering what you think this dog got prepared for us today. You know, the surprise I mentioned last week? Victoria purses her lips and looks away for a second before turning back to me. I heard a rumor that it's another photo contest like last year. She sounds kind of tense about it. I suddenly remember how she placed second in the photo contest last year. She hadn't looked happy about it at all. I know she busted her ass on it. Even I have to admit her submission was really good. I totally thought she'd win. I have a feeling she took the losing a lot harder than she'd let on. If it is, I, um... Good luck, Victoria. <laughs> That definitely wasn't the response Victoria was expecting. Her eyes widened, her mouth dropping open for a split second before she recovers. She's not scowling at me anymore, at least. Yeah, you too, Max. Oh, I wasn't expecting that either. We stand there for another moment. Neither of us seem to know what to say. Awkward. Victoria makes an irritated sound, finally breaking the silence. Look, I've gotta get back to figuring out my schedule for the week, club meetings and shit. I'm pretty sure that wasn't what she was doing, but I'm not about to call her on, on it. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'll see you in class. She turns back to the bulletin board. Well, that could have definitely gone a lot worse. As far as encounters with Victoria Chase go, that was practically painless. Yeah, a lot better than the actual game. <laughs> Once I enter the classroom, I head back and sit down to in my usual seat. Contrary to what Chloe would have you believe, I don't sit back here to slack off like she does. I sit back here because it's centered, centered right by where Mick's dog usually lectures. Speaking of Chloe, I can see her sauntering in with Rachel. She grabs a couple of chairs and drags them noisily across the tiles so that she and Rachel can sit with me. Chloe looks like she is already prepared to nap all the way through class. Typical. Rachel, on the other hand, she's got top marks, even though she's more into being in photos, not taking them. She's already got her textbook open, and she's running a paint stained finger down the page. Victoria walks in, in just a moment later, with Taylor at her side. She glances at me, and then immediately looks away when she catches me looking back. Her lips are pressed together in a hard line as Taylor in her ear. I guess she's not in a gossiping mood today. Kate's seat is over by the window. She mouths hello to me as she takes her spot, organizing her books into a neat pile. God, I'm never ready for those sound effects. <laughs> Good morning, class. What a mon lovely Monday morning. See how he looks like Jefferson? <laughs> but he's a hot dog man, Jefferson. <laughs> never could get over how this guy looks in this game. <laughs> anyway. I've been kind
kind of trying to do the different girls tones and I may or may not be pulling it off in some sort of way but I'm not even gonna try with him. I hate Jefferson. <laughs> There's a few grumbles here and there and Chloe says the loudest. Mixed dog ignores them all. As you all know, I told you last week that I have a big surprise coming today. Well, the day has come for me to announce the second annual Blackwell photo contest. What else would it have been? <laughs> I can feel fireflies literally explode in my stomach. Oof. Next to me, Chloe and Rachel shoot me looks. Called it. <laughs> Victoria stiffens up her seat and sits up a little straighter. Kate smiles, of course. She's as bright as the spot of sun she's sitting in. Now, this contest will be a little different than last year's. You'll have to pick a partner because of contest contest contests. <laughs> contest motif is the bonds between people. This doesn't mean you both have to be in the photo, although that's not against the rules. A photo can be of anything. Your bond will be expressed by working together. Uh, let me get up. Okay. I want to see all kinds of photos represented. I encourage all of you to enter. At the end of the week, each pair will submit their photo. Of course, I'll be judging to pick the winner. As for the prize, the winner will have their photo displayed in the front entrance of the main building and a feature in the Blackwell Toto. I guess that's their newspaper. We only have until Friday? Shit, if I wind up entering, I'm gonna have to start thinking about it right away. Who am I kidding? Of course I'm going to enter. Mixed dog turns to survey class, hands on their hips. One thing you should keep in mind, be certain of who you choose for a partner, because you can't change once you've picked. You will both need to work together to create your photo. No cooperation, no entry. I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous about this whole thing. Sure, I've been taking photos for as long as I can remember, but I've never collaborated with someone else like this before. If you plan to enter, I need you to pick your partners before the end of today's class so that I can add your names to the registration sheet. Double shit. Now I have no idea to ask and almost no time to make up my mind. Fidgeting nervously, I can glance around the room. I can already see people murmuring to one another about their plans. Chloe, who's half asleep, raises her eyebrows at me when I meet her gaze. I guess she wasn't so zoned out that she wasn't listening. Rachel winks when I look at her, and now that I think about how much practice she's had posing for photos, everyone knows she's wanting to be a model. Kate waves her fingers at me, smiling encouragingly. She doesn't have to say anything, anything for me to know that she thinks I should enter. Victoria, she stiffens a little, but she doesn't look away immediately this time. She holds my gaze, and I'm not sure if she's issuing a challenge. The choice is mine. I could ask anyone. Nothing's stopping me but my own shyness. The worst that could happen is that I'll be turned down. Which honestly seems completely mortifying, if I'm gonna be real here, but I'll be even more disappointed with myself if I don't enter at all. Who should I ask? Now we have our choice. <laughs> um... Obviously, we're gonna pick Chloe, but I should have saved before this because then I could have just reloaded that save file and not gone through that whole beginning piece again for the next three girls. <laughs> oh god, it's okay. I'll be smarter about it next time. Anyway, obviously, Chloe. Okay, actually, we can save right here. And they gave us a ton of save files, so we're good. Okay, so that first one. Um, for the next three girls, Rachel, Kate, and Victoria, we're not going through that whole beginning section again, because that was just set up. I will start from this point on for everything else. Okay. Okay. Yes! I do want to choose Chloe. And she went unlocked Partners in Crime. And a bonus photo unlocked, okay. There's nothing like the tried and true. I know Chloe would be up for willing to help me. That's totally wrong, but whatever. <laughs> it's practically cheating to ask her. But if the theme is bonds between people, then what better choice than my partner in crime? 
I lean over the desk towards her. Hey, old faithful. Chloe snorts. That makes me sound like something that should be taken out behind a barn and shot. <laughs> That's a geezer. Geyser? Geyser. Not a dog. See, I was thinking horse, but not dog, but... for so many years. And now, <clears throat> I've been pausing a lot to add my own commentary, but <laughs> while I'm thinking of it, um, have you noticed where the text box is on these girls? <laughs> and so I'm not, I'm not looking up at the characters while I'm reading, because I have to look at the text. And so I'm, I'm, I'm staring right, right down here on <laughs> the girls. <laughs> the entire time I'm reading, and now I'm never gonna unsee it. <laughs> and now, since I've said it, all of you guys can never unsee it. <laughs> Almost all of my best memories of Chloe and them. Sometimes, I wish we could go back to those days, but we're still as symbiotic as we ever were, even if we're pretty different now. Different interests, different styles, but still friends. That's how I know that what we have is real. Like, that is true, but if you have, like, real friends and you all have different interests, you know they're a real friend when you can share your interests with them and they're just like, yeah, whatever, I'll do it, <laughs> you know? Even if they don't have much of an interest in it. Well, that's if I win. It's not even up for debate. He'll blow it out of the water. We're interrupted by a mixed dog trailing back to the front of the classroom and clearing their throat. All right, all right. I've got to get to the, today's lecture. If you haven't picked a partner yet, then I'm sure that you be sure that you do before class lets out. I settle back into my seat as the lesson begins, but I can barely focus. All I can think about is contest. That sound effect again. When class lets out, it feels like hours later, and I leap out of my seat. Chloe takes her time getting up, reaching up to scratch it under her arm. Uh, I think my buzz is already wearing off. It's school's fault. Nothing's ever your fault. Not at all. <laughs> I grin. That's my Chloe. So, this contest thing. You're gonna help me see another A+, plus for the first time in like, four years, right? <laughs> Chloe, this is a contest, not an assignment. Right, we split the million dollars. <laughs> I'm not so sure we're going to win a million dollars. We split the... wait, half mil, quarter? <laughs> Ten grand? Chloe, winning is its own reward. <laughs> Jesus, calm down there, Pollyanna. We can decide what to do with the prize after you win. I'm pretty sure there is no prize, and it would be us winning, not just me. As you say, I'm here for the victory chain, remember? More like the gravy train. <laughs> gravy. <laughs> Chloe clutches her stomach dramatically. I already know what she's going to say. Maybe we could go to the two whales tomorrow morning? Genius, Max. If I can hold off my cravings for that long. 
Can you believe Joy still won't do takeout? Uh, actually, yes, I completely believe that. Well, I'm gonna go blaze my way through math class, literally, behind the bleachers, because I'm not going to math class. <laughs> that, that would be me without the blazing. I hate math. <laughs> Classic. My voice is dry, which Chloe picked up on, but it doesn't seem to bother her. I'll text you later. I'll be waiting for it. Chloe coaxes me on the shoulder, and then she grabs her bag and does goes to sneak off to have her smoke out spot, while I go to Mixed Dog's desk and give them our names for the registration sheet. I'm glad I asked my best friend to be my partner for the contest. Chloe's no photographer, but if it's about bonds, then we've got this on lock. I hope. Tuesday. All right. Uh, I think this is a good place to stop for the first episode. We got through the whole intro, and we're already started on Chloe's pathway. And um, yeah, I'm gonna upload this right now after I edit out, you know, like all the breaks I took and whatever. <laughs> when I kept smacking my arm on my leg and screaming. Um, but. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go upload it right now after I've edited everything, uh, so you guys can get right on it, see it, and um, I can gauge your interest on this game. And I hope you guys like it. Uh, I definitely do want to continue it. And I will see you in the next episode where we finish out uh, some more of Chloe's quests. Uh, bye! <laughs>